Welcome home, dream family. Welcome back to the channel. This is a story time video, and I know you guys are all at home eating Thanksgiving dinner, and this is my way of bringing us together. Yes. So if this is your first time coming by my channel, make sure you click on the subscription button and the notification button down below. Let me know, guys, if you like the story time videos. Let me know in the comment section down below because I have a couple uh, story time videos that I want to share with you guys. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Thanksgiving story time video that I have for you guys. Yes. So, uh, during the holidays, I try to tell you guys a story time video, but this one is fresh. This one just happened, and I want to come on and tell you guys all about it. Anyway, oh, this all happened because I had to leave work because I left something for my job in order to work, and I didn't have it. I left at home. So, that's a to this is a totally different story about my psycho co-worker i had to leave to go home to get the item so that i can work so we'll get into that story time if you guys want to hear that story time video let me know in the comment section down below but anyway because i left something at home that i needed for the job i had to leave so i called the supervisor said go ahead and leave and come back so when i left i had realized because the light came on I'm like we're just cruising down a little you know the street had to turn the little music on and I'm like, I got a hell of a long ride. So I had to put on some Marvin Gaye and just was hitting it. Then all of a sudden, beep, the gas light came on. So I was like, let me go ahead and get some gas. So I stopped to get some gas. But while I was like getting the gas, I decided to call my mom. I was like, mom, hey, could you check in the purse that's in my room? And I'm still trying to give her directions, trying to tell her where to go ahead and go ahead and look in the room get my purse to see if the items was in there because I had to change purses and I normally don't change purses and I always have that purse but this time I decided to change the purse and this is why I don't like changing my purse but anyway I changed the purse so I left the item in the wrong purse so I'm like could you go in my room look in the purse see if you see this da -da 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 -da. the person on the left side of the microwave behind the fridge underneath the cabinet blah 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 so anyway long story short you know Finally, I was rehearsing my mom how to go and find my, how to go and find my purse. So all of a sudden, I look over my shoulder. I see, a, I'm like, really? Nah. I just know I don't see what I'm seeing. All of a sudden, I see this guy over my shoulder. Was like, hey, you got a dollar? I was like, no, nah, I don't have no dollar, man. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. And went over. It ain't no wrong with you. Ask stuff. Just like, no, I ain't got nothing. I'm still talking to my mom. So I guess he it misinterpreted. I don't have nothing. To you don't get nothing if you don't do nothing. That's how he interpreted it. Because when I said I don't have nothing, he was like, okay. I guess he said, she said, you don't get nothing because you ain't do nothing. Because all of a sudden, homeboy was like, do, 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 do. He started dancing and rolling and grinding and humping like a dog and stuff like that. Taking off his shirt. I'm, I'm getting aggravated, but I'm like, whatever, I ain't got time for this. So I'm trying to still focus on my mom. I'm like, mom, because it was kind of difficult getting her to find a purse. And I'm like, I don't want to go all the way home. So I'm like, mom, it's, it's next to the microwave, under the cat litter box, behind the refrigerator, underneath the stove, on the side of my bed, okay? So anyway, she finally found the purse. She couldn't find the item. In the meantime, he done went from the shirt to trying to unlock, unbuckle his pants. I'm like, this man is really stripping at the gas station for a dollar. Really, really, really? You sitting up here stripping. But anyway, so anyway, and I'm thinking, too, why the hell is he trying to unbuckle his, his pen when his pen is already falling off, off his behind on the ground? So I'm like, okay, so whatever. I don't, I don't care about that. So I'm still talking to, talking to my mom, but I'm thinking, like, why the hell is you? trying to unbuckle your pants so that you can pull them down when they're already too big and they whatever whatever what the f ever so i was like mom and i'm like hey man just go i don't have nothing he kept going all of a sudden homeboy did one of these numbers homeboy just licked my window i was like hey I don't care what you do, that don't bother me. 
you can lick this whole car. I'm really hoping he made a mistake and licked some, some dried up bird duty. But anyway, I'm like, man, I don't care nothing about you licking no window. I was like, I don't have no money to get away from my car. And I went on to talk to my mama. Then all of a sudden, when he, he just walked off and he started laughing because he seemed that it wasn't getting on my nerves and he was trying to be funny and irritated. So he walked off. He looked like he was a meth mouth addict because all of his teeth was just decayed and rotten, nappy head, dirty, just just nasty. But it, it did to put your, your tongue on the window. It took everything in me to just let him know, like, I don't care. Okay, because I already know if I got upset, like a, a friend of mine told me she got mad when somebody did her like that. I said, they just do that to get on your nerves. So I'm just like, okay, you licked the window. So anyway, so he laughed and he walked off. Then I got on out the car, because low key, I was like, you know, kind of a little, a little bit scared. I ain't gonna do much loud. But anyway, I got on out the car talking to my mom. She found the purse I was talking about. I went to the gas station. I'm going to the gas station. I looked over, because mind you, it's a brush separate the gas station from the McDonald's. He had them went across the brush, the little, you know, through the brushes to the McDonald's. And all of a sudden, ah, whoop, whoop, jump out came. Pulled right up on the boy, like, surrounded him out of nowhere. I'm like, what the heck? What's going on? So anyway, they got out. And I'm looking, so they just standing over there talking to him or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, he was just over here harassing me. He licked my window. Had the girl lick my window. I said, he was just over here harassing me sexually. Like, <laughs> yeah, that pissed me off. So I was like, all right, since he want to irritate me, I'm going to tell the police he was just over here licking my window and harassing me. So I went on to the gas station when I came out. He came walking back across. I was like, ooh. Ooh, ooh, what if this man slapped the mess out of you right now? I was like, ooh, I was trying to walk like fast, like, and still have that attitude. Not, uh, not bothered. I was like, walking like, I got in my car. So, anyway, he walked on past, he didn't say nothing to me. He looked like he was kind of like scared or whatever. He took heed to whatever the police said. He was just holding his little pants on one side, his little dirty t shirt thrown across his shoulder on the other side, and he just kept it moving and went on down the street. But anyway, when I was getting ready to pull out, the police did stop me. Was telling me, say, "Oh, yeah, we stopped him for trespassing." So it was, and it was said they had to wait till he come back in order to tell him he couldn't come back. No, they're gonna take him to jail. So anyway, he didn't go to jail. I didn't send the brother to jail, but he tried to get on my nerves, and I tried to work his and tell the police, "Yeah, that Negro licked my window." <laughs> so but anyway, that is my story time of the. Man who script for me at the gas station. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed this story time video. Let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know if you guys want to hear more story time videos. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you take the opportunity to do so and click on the notification and the subscribe button down below so you'll know each and every time the family is here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.